Right, the next uh, extension video is going to look at adding videos themselves into your website. Now, with other programs, what you have to do quite often is download a video and save it to your area to do something to it, to edit it or to put it into a program. The beautiful thing about a website and the fact it links and it's going to be seen on the internet means you don't have to download videos. You only need to link to a video. Now, it's not as simple as... Um, highlighting and adding a link okay clicking on it and adding a link to YouTube uh, you can do that but that will go to the YouTube file uh, on, the, on the YouTube page what we want is the YouTube file to appear within our website so if we look at my uh, Kodi page I've got an example there it says Kodi is a program that has been made by Microsoft it allows you to create your games and then it says at the end below is an example of a game and I have got a picture it's a little picture of a game there. Now, I think what would be nice is an actual video of a game to show what it looks like. Okay, so to show, you, I'm going to go on here. I'm going to go to YouTube. If I go to YouTube. Okay, you will notice already for me it comes up with Game Lab because I've already searched for this. Um, I'm going to search for Kodu Games. To do games that come up. Okay, and this uh, here is a uh, Kodu game here. That's the actual image of the game that I had before. So if I click on that, it will start to play a video. Okay, you can see I've taken things on quite a bit further. Just into so that video there is talking to you. It's telling you how to make this game and move forward with the game. So I could get my URL, copy it, go into say below is an example of a game, highlight the word game let's say and link it and it's put that in there for me and it's gone blue to show my link, my external link. Then when I run it, I click that button and it goes to YouTube and it shows the video. However, what I said I wanted, okay, I'll just undo that, is I want the video in my own website. This is how we would do it. Okay, I'm going to go to YouTube, and at the bottom of YouTube, or down a bit, underneath the video, there's one that says Share. Now, under Share, you've got your usual social media options, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Reddit, all, all those. You've got email to email it to someone, but you've got Embed. Now, Embed... Um, embeds the file into your website. It's kind of misleading. It does embed it into your website, but as I've said before, websites don't embed, they link. So if you were to embed it and then the link to this video changed, you wouldn't be able to see the video. Anyway, you press embed and you get a bit of code there. So that code is highlighted for us. So I'm going to right click and copy that code. Now that code doesn't only have the website in it, it also has this thing called frame, allowing full screen, iframe. Uh, now those bits tell the website what it's going to look like and link it to YouTube. Okay, so if I go back, not to there, if I go back to my website, um, if I paste that, I've got with some funny sort of code that I copied. Now that's not going to work. That's just going to display that funny bit of code. So instead, I'm going to undo that. We want we decide uh, where we want the image, or sorry, where we want the video, and then we're going to put that code in. So I'm going to hit enter to say I want the video here. And then at the bottom, there's these three different buttons. One says WYSIWYG, that's what we've been working in. So what you see is what you get. We'll type it out as we're doing it. Print preview is how it'll look on the web. And source, if we click on that one, that is the code. All this is code that the computer is automatically putting in, Blue Griffin is putting in, in particular, to make the website appear. Uh, now, you possibly don't know what that means. Okay, I do. I understand HTML, so I know what that means. You will learn that in J5. Okay? But at the moment, we're not worried about what that is because we're going to learn it in J5. So, my cursor is down here. It's flashing because that is where, on my WYSIWYG, I was. So, we'll go to Source, and I'm going to hover over it and right click 
actually won't let me right click and paste let's go edit paste okay or control V and you will notice that same bit of code sticks in there but like these other ones there's different colors like blues and blacks and greens and that means something to the computer and that is that means something uh, to somebody who knows HTML you can look at it and you understand it we don't need to worry about that all you need to know is that that code's gone in there and because of the different colors it's understood that code so when we go back to our WYSIWYG okay it will come up here saying an error occurred try watching the video on YouTube that is just because you can't watch the video through Blue Griffin you can't actually see it okay however if you preview it in your web browser okay there's the video if I click on it just to show you it works the video plays for you so that is now within my website I don't have to go off my website anyone looking at my website doesn't have to go off my website to see that it doesn't affect any other pages if I click on any other pages okay they still work when we go back to what is Kodu it's still in there so the major steps I'll show you again really quickly are find your YouTube video click on embed copy the code go to Blue Griffin choose where you want it so wherever you click the cursor that's where it will appear click on source edit paste don't move the cursor because you've clicked where you want it and go back to WYSIWYG and you should have this YouTube error because you can't watch it through Blue Griffin but you can watch it through your web browser so have a go at finding a video that's related to your website and see if you can get it onto your website